I got my Grandpa Clone Customs order for the June drop a few days ago, and we've got some really exciting figures here. I picked up two 5th Legion Troopers, the new Arc Trooper Echo, and Arc Trooper 5s, as well as the Bomb Squad Trooper, and the Doom Unit Trooper. Here's a look at the 5th Legion Trooper. I really like how subtle the design on this trooper is. And I love the motif of the two lines, which remind me of the spots on the 7th Legion Trooper from the May drop. Moving on, we've got the two Arc Troopers, with the brand new custom Arc Trooper helmet. First up is Echo, and we can see that these helmets have the holes to place an official LEGO antenna. And it fits as perfect as if it were an official LEGO helmet. We get the printed pauldron, which is a really nice detail. I personally will also add a custom fabric pauldron and karma to both my ARC Troopers, but the printed pauldron will suffice for now. Looking at Fives and Echo together is really awesome. These guys were such a cool pair in the Clone Wars, and it's a shame that LEGO never made these guys in minifigure form. I also wanted to do a comparison with my custom fives that I made a few months ago in another video. He has a Clone Army Customs P2 helmet, and not the Arc Trooper one, but still, GCC take the win here easily. Next up we've got the Bomb Squad Trooper, with an official LEGO helmet in orange. And the printing on this figure is insane. That unique orange and white pattern on the arms, legs, back and front of the torso, they also nailed the white printing on the orange helmet. If this was an official LEGO figure, I guarantee that white would be super opaque. Once again, here's a comparison to my old custom Bomb Squad Trooper, using a Clone Army Customs helmet. I'm still a fan of this one, to be honest, but again, he cannot beat the GCC one. Last up is a figure I'm so happy to have in my collection at last, and that is the restocked Doom Unit Trooper. This guy is one of the OG GCC figures that they sold before even I knew about them. Although this time around he uses one of the GCC replica helmets. That's not a problem though as these helmets are damn near identical to official LEGO ones. And this guy's unique green and grey colour scheme make him another fine addition to my collection. This was another great drop from GCC and I have nothing but praise for them. The next drop will not be for a while but I know there's definitely going to be some awesome figures in that one. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.